just received a package from Hong Kong and it contains the brand new PrimeSense short range sensor. I'll do a little review and I'll compare this new sensor with my actual hardware, the Asus Action Pro Live. Okay, so this is my old scanner, it's the Asus Action Pro Live. This is a scanner I used in all my videos for scanning people and, and bigger objects. And this is the new one, the PrimeSense 1.09 short range sensor. If you have a look on both devices, they look um, quite similar. The only difference is, if you have a look on this device, this is the, the infrared projector, you can see that the projector on the new device, on the, on the PrimeSense 1.9, is a little bigger than on the old device. Okay, so let's plug it in and see what it can do for us. The test runs as follows. I try to get the best scan from this little figurine. First, I do a scan with the ASUS Action Pro Live scanner. Then I do the same thing with the new PrimeSense sensor. And then we have together a look on the software. I use Skinect in this test and we have a look on the results. This is the output from the scanning process of the ASUS Action Pro Live scanner. Now we try to get the 3D model and let's connect, reconstruct the whole model. This is the 3D model we got from the ASUS Action Pro Live scanner. Let's finish the process in calculating the motor tight 3D model. Now I'll do the same scan with the PrimeSense short range sensor. This is the scanner output from the PrimeSense sensor. Okay, and now once again we reconstruct the model in high detail. And then we reconstruct the watertight 3D model. Okay, and then now let's compare both scans. For the comparison of the scans, I loaded both models in MeshLab. So the first model is the ASUS model and the second model is the model from the PrimeSense scanner. Alright, this was the first review of the new PrimeSense short range sensor. I guess this figurine was a little too small for both sensors, but you could see that the PrimeSense sensor has a better resolution um, on small objects. I'm really looking forward to do more scans with this hardware, especially fine detailed scans like faces and hands. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, see you next time.